Hey guys, I'm Justin, and today we're going to take a look at a room in the Luxor. So there are two versions of this video. The one is the short version, which will give you the basic overview of what it's like to stay in the Luxor Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. And then there is another more extended detailed version. You're currently watching the extended version, so if you're more of a just give me the info, I need it real quick type, uh, check out that video instead. The parking structure is behind the hotel, and you're going to want to park on the second level on the roof. Unless it's summertime and then it's crazy hot. If you park on the roof, you can walk directly into the casino. From the parking structure, you're going to walk to the lower left corner of the pyramid where you see the signs that say elevator. But you're not taking the elevator, you're just going to walk straight across. Hey guys, I'm Justin, and today we're at the Las Vegas Luxor. That's the pyramid-shaped hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. And this is a standard room in the pyramid with two queen beds. As you enter the room, you'll notice two queen beds. Uh, they each have two pillows on top. There's lighting behind the beds and a light coming down from the ceiling as well. Uh, on the other side of the room, there is a chest of drawers for you to store your stuff if you're that type of person and a 50 inch or so tv uh, on the far wall there is a chair for sitting i guess and a desk of an unusual shape along with an ice bucket and some plastic cups that are individually wrapped the outer wall of the room goes down at an angle because it is the outside of the pyramid in the bathroom you have a toilet a sink and it appears that it's uh multi-use hand wash and body lotion over in the shower only there is no tub in the shower you also have repeat use for multiple guests shampoo and body wash it is las vegas and las vegas has a water drought but it tends to have one of the most intense water pressures of any place you're going to visit i'm guessing this is no different And I would be wrong. The water pressure is decent. It's not Las Vegas, take your skin off with high pressure, but uh, it's, a, it's a shower, it works. And curiously, there is a bottle of Febreze in the room. I don't know why, I'm not sure. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Uh, there was a rubber glove just outside the door when I got to the room, which was also a little unusual. But uh, let's see if it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. So that's also a little unusual. There is no closet in this room. There is a closet sort of area. Uh, it's got some hangers and a safe underneath there. Um, there's also a ironing rack over here in a cubby next to the closet ish area and an iron up there this is the view from the room uh, that's the excalibur across the way there are two tower hotels it's pretty hard to see at night but there are two towers next to it and then just beyond that is new york new york the luxor also has room service there are ample plugs around the room Although curiously, there is no plug directly in the middle of the two beds that I can find. 
There is a plug on the side of the bed nearest the door, and there is a plug available on the left side of the far away bed. The air conditioner is locked to go no lower than 65 degrees. There's also a full length mirror near the bathroom. When you walk outside of the room, you can look down into the atrium area where there is the Diablo's bar. There is the front towards the Las Vegas Strip. And there's a lot of Egyptian theming still in here, though they've changed a little bit of it around to be other things. There's the food court over there. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty high up here and also pretty scary. Uh, there is no center support to this hotel. It's each of the four walls hold the middle up. So I am slightly hanging the camera over the edge, but I am not leaning myself over the edge. Um, as you can see, the elevators are in the corner there. Um, each elevator only accesses a portion of the floors. As you can see straight across, there are black windows where the elevator is not accessible generally. And then once you get to the area where the elevator is accessible, the windows are open so you can see out from inside the hallway with the elevators. Uh, like this one over here, this one doesn't go to these floors. It goes to the floors down there. So generally when you see a review of the Luxor, it's talking about how bad it is, but it's really not. If you've stayed at a Hampton Inn or Holiday Inn Express, it's definitely better than that. And I think a lot of the reviewers forget exactly what a typical hotel is. In Las Vegas, the hotels are all over the top for the most part. On the Strip, it is one of the lower end comparatively, but that's comparatively. Now, don't expect everything to be perfect here at the Luxor. Uh, for example, this light doesn't work uh, and the light over there above the bed doesn't work. There was also a Febreze can in the bathroom, which is really unusual. And, you know, the furniture is a little banged up, but the bed is quite adequate. Uh, the pillows are decently soft. Uh, there are different kinds of pillows, looks like even. This is a bigger, oh yeah, this is a bigger, softer. Uh, I don't think it's a feather pillow, but it's, it's, a, it's definitely a comfortable pillow. Um, there's two pillows on each bed, and you've got four full-size towels in this room with two queen beds. It comes with an ice bucket. Uh, you have some disposable glasses that are individually wrapped. And there are some unusual things about it. Like there is a locked cabinet, which I'm sure that's where the mini bar refrigerator used to be. Um, but they don't do mini bars anymore here. It's not the most high end hotel, but the price is pretty incredible sometimes. I literally paid zero dollars for this room. But even if you book the room at a normal rate, which it might be as low as $40, and you pay the $40 resort fee, you're still at 80 bucks for a very nice hotel in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. It is on the end. It is away from things. But you can walk in a tunnel between the Luxor and the Mandalay Bay and Excalibur. Overall, it's a great value, and I would stay here without hesitation. I personally think when you're in Las Vegas and you want to do something Vegasy, you stay in the Pyramid Hotel. Uh, when you're looking over the railing, uh, it can be pretty scary if you're afraid of heights, but it actually is pretty awesome. So as you walk to your room, if you dare to look over the side, you can see down into the area below with restaurants, bars, shows. Uh, but if you're afraid of heights, you're probably going to walk more towards this side of the hallway or you're going to get a room in a traditional tower. Another interesting fact is when you get on the elevators, they call them inclinators because they don't go up and down like a typical elevator. They go at an angle. And the unusual part about that, even more unusual, is that it depends on which elevator you get in, which angle it goes. So there are elevators on each side. And if you get in this elevator, you're going to be going down from right to left. And if you get in on an elevator on this side, you're going to be going down from left to right. So you have to sort of be mindful because it will jar you just a little bit when it starts moving. So there you have it. That was the Luxor in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Boulevard. Would I stay here? Yes, of course. Would I recommend you stay here? Yeah, as long as you keep your expectations in check. If you want a five-star experience, stay at the Wind, the Fountain Blue, or the Venetian. If you want a great rate on a hotel that is definitely Vegasy. 
stay at the Luxor. So that's all for today. Go ahead and smash that like button if you liked what you saw. And hopefully you subscribe too. Thanks and talk to you soon.